Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Welcome to Morning Musings. Well, I, as promised, I want to begin a series today on how should we then live. It is, it is sometimes claimed, very often I, I should say, number one, by the enemies of covenant eschatology, that if the Lord came in AD 70, the end of the age arrived, then there's no ground for ethical mandates. There's no ground for moral living. There is no right or wrong. Because after all, what we find in the New Testament is ethical exhortations based upon the coming of the Lord. Therefore, if the Lord has come, those ethical exhortations are invalidated and no longer applicable. Secondly, there are those within the preterist community who say, well, the Lord came, pardon me, put, us, put an end to sin, put an end to death. We can do anything. The question is, how should we then live? In light of prophetic fulfillment, well, very, very quickly today, let me simply observe that the story of eschatology is the restoration of what was lost in Adam, right? No one denies that that I'm aware of. Well, prior to sin, prior to death, in the, quote, perfect, if you wish to use that term, state between God and man were their moral and ethical mandates. Uh, well, yes, of every fruit, of every tree that is in the garden, you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. Likewise, there were conditions for man, there were responsibilities for man to tend the garden and to work by the sweat of his brow. So the point being that prior to the fall, man had obligations to God. Man had moral obligations to God. He had obligations to obey the Lord in order to live in the presence of the Lord. So when we talk about the restoration of all things, that Peter was anticipating in Acts chapter 3, and we see that restoration set before us in Revelation chapter 21 and 22, what do we find inside the city? We find relationship between God and man. We find the tree of life. We find healing for the nation. And watch this. There are still outside the city dogs, liars, and all who work abomination. In other words, there is a moral divide, a moral distinction between those inside the city where the restoration of all things has occurred and outside the city. So, fulfillment of prophecy does not negate moral mandate, ethical conduct, if in fact the, quote, garden has been restored, then in the garden there were moral mandates, there were ethical commands, there were obligations for obedience. How then can anyone say Oh, well, if you say that eschatology has been fulfilled, we have no moral obligations. No, if we've been restored to the presence of God, if we've been restored to the garden, there are, in fact, moral obligations. Well, that's just an initial thought. I hope it helps. Thanks so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. We'll see you on the flip side.